Hi and welcome to the channel and today we have a review of the Castleton Caravan and Motorhome site. First, location. The Castleton and Caravan Motorhome site is located in the Peak District and, as you might have guessed, the site is close to Castleton. Unlike some other sites, this site is actually close to the village that it's in its name, in the sense that you can actually walk into Castleton and it'll take you about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how deep you want to go into the village. The only issue I'd point out with taking this walk is that country road can get busy. Cars, motorhomes, motorbikes and particularly high performance sports vehicles all use that road. So just be a bit careful crossing it or if you're walking along the street with a dog or a small child. It is a pleasant walk, it is doable, I highly recommend it, just at times it isn't a lazy country road. The importance of Castleton isn't just the facilities that are available in the village. Castleton has its own visitors centre because it is the focal point of numerous hikes and has Peveril Castle overlooking the village from a significant height. The Mamtor National Trust car park is only 10 minutes or less drive away through Winnett's Pass. Castleton is also in the dead centre of the Peak District National Park, so it also has the advantage of being a good place to route out from. Basically, if you're wanting to stay somewhere at the centre of things, in terms of the geography and various walking options, it does hit all the buttons. So layout. The site has 92 touring pitches with electric hookup that are the usual mixture of with or without awning spaces. They are hard standing, using gravel. There are also 12 service pitches for those hardcore motorhomers who want those creature comforts. Access to the site is really simple. You turn off the A6187 into Castleton and are presented with a very short access road into the site. As is typical of these sites, the access road can support traffic in both directions, but it's quite short, but that has a, a number of challenges. So don't turn up before the entry time. You don't want to turn up before the entry time because since the road is short, there's actually nowhere to park. You can't do the typical thing of parking along the entry road, waiting for them to let you in. You would literally have nowhere to go. The site isn't one of the largest, but this brings numerous advantages. You're never that far away from the facilities or reception. The site is flat, as are the pictures as far as I could tell. You won't find that you are literally what feels like miles away and up a hill from a key facilities like reception or a food truck. Personally, I like the layout of the site. It was simple, didn't have geographical features that would raise challenges for larger vehicles or caravans or people with mobility issues. But the reverse of that is neither do the geographical features of the site or its location add any unique character, as the countryside feels very much something that is outside of the site rather than integrated within it. If you're one of those people who has a particular dislike for these sort of sites and believe they're like glorified car parks rather than, you know, rich, interesting campsites, then this one probably could be said to fall into that bracket. In that the, other than the greenery within the site to break up the feel, it is just a series of pictures. Okay, facilities. The facilities of the site follow the same theme of the layout, in that it's a quintessential model caravan and motorhome site. Due to the size, there is only one facilities block at the centre, which plays host to the tourist information, laundry facilities, games and toilets. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, the tourist information and games room was not open. As usual, the toilets at these caravan and motorhome sites are usually pretty impeccable and the Castleton site is no exception. They are very clean and if you're in a camper van without facilities like myself, they are one of the most useful parts of the site. As usual, I was able to tie Daisy Dog to the fencing outside of these facilities where she'll happily wait for me to come out again. The dog walk on the site is probably what I'd call it functional rather than a standout feature. It's not a big field or something that becomes almost an interesting hike in itself, which is the case at some of these sites. It doesn't circle the site either. There are actually two dog walks. One is a strip along the west side of the site and the other is a small piece of landscape land near the entrance. I mean, it gets the job done. That's about all you can say about it. 
The site did not seem to have visiting facilities like food trucks. I'd guess this is because it's so close to Castleton, the site itself, and any potential individual looking to make a profit from such a situation probably thinks it's not worthwhile. So I did go during COVID-19. I visited the site in April 2021, which means the UK was working its way to opening up as the vaccine was ramping up. The caravan and motorhome sites have always got one thing right, and that is how they handle COVID-19 safety. Due to a combination of the rules and the general attitude of the people who visit these sites, they generally rule obeying, law-abiding, sensible, polite people, they always feel entirely safe. The main difference this time is in line with guidelines the showers were not allowed to be used but the toilets were. They use a system of rubber bands to show how many of the maximum of three are inside and by and large it works pretty well. It has its weaknesses, human beings are human beings and occasionally people leave the rubber band on the hook but by and large it works. The one difference this time put to summer 2020 was they were actively using track and trace and had two methods for this. One involved giving them your contact details on a paper form, but they also had a quick way using the QR code facility on the NHS track and trace app, which I thought was very clever and professional. Ultimately, my view of the site is it's a pretty standard caravan and motorhome site. If you like such things, you'll love it. If not, you won't, as there isn't really any standout feature within the site to change your mind. Its primary, and I'd say its only unique advantage, is its proximity to Castleton and its position in the direct, exact centre of the Peak District National Park. The fact the site isn't integrated into any unique features of the environment means that I tend to prefer some of the other options in the National Park. If you're wanting to be near Castleton, centrally located, or near some of the walks in the area, then this is the site for you. It does seem many people do want that, as Castleton is often the more in demand than some of their Peak District sites that I actually prefer. My particular, one of my particular favourites being Buxton. Till next time, you can show your support by giving the video a quick like, and I'll see you in the comments.